the so far analysis and design of our face recognition system has allowed us to find out all the basic all the necessary jobs that our system should be able to do and we have also been able to group those functionalities based on the type of work they're doing into components for example the face recognizer the image acquisition face detector and the training set manager so we also have had a basic idea we have now found out how the components should actually interact with each other the remaining part is to partition the system if possible into subsystems because breaking the system into lower parts will enable us to understand better how to implement our so system data to implement our system in smaller parts and then integrate those parts to make the whole system. Now, as is evident that our face recognition system has two major components, face recognizer and training set, which share these three common components in their functionality, which is faces database, image acquisition, and face detector. So it's pretty natural or pretty understandable that we divide our system, we partition it based on the functionality of face recognizer and training set manager. So we could say one part of the system could be to recognize a face and do all the jobs associated with it. And the other could be to train, uh, to manage our training set and all those jobs that you see here associated with it. So let's move on and partition our system into two subsystems and design a uh, have a logical design for both of those systems so the so that we can implement them later on right then partitioning the system into subsystems and developing the logical design now to do that let's first focus on the bit components needed to manage a training set all the necessary components keep them and let's just discard the others away for now so we have a training set manager which works on a faces database using image acquisition and face detector components. Now this subsystem could also be represented in some form like this. Now only the representation has changed but the logical meaning stays the same. That is this component, the training set manager component, along with image acquisition and face detector works on a faces database to manage a training set that is a faces database containing the face human faces. And this is what we call the logical design of our first subsystem. The first subsystem is the training set manager, that is the training set management system. Now moving on to creating our next subsystem which will be the face recognizer sub subsystem. Again, we will only focus at the components needed to recognize a face and all the jobs of training the recognizer, showing the eigenfaces, etc, etc. Et so we'll just skip out all the unnecessary components for now and just focus on the ones needed to recognize a face. Again, we are left with the major face, recogni face recognizer component and the three common components we had seen earlier, faces database, image acquisition, and face detector. These two components, along with the face recognizer, works on the faces database to recognize an input face. So we can again represent this in form of this representation. Again, this representation is the alternative of the one we just saw earlier, but this is now a proper, you can say, a logical design for our subsystem too. That is, this diagram is now depicting logically the layout of our phase recognition system subsystem. Mind it, when I say phase recognition subsystem, it means the phase recognizer this part. So, naturally, the full system's logical design will become something like this when the faces database is a common component being worked on by both the subsystems we had seen earlier. So, one would be a set of these three components which make up subsystem one along with the faces database and along with these three components with face recognizer, image acquisition, and face detector along with the faces database makes subsystem 2 that is the face recognizer so this is the logical design overall logical design of our complete system 
So I think this will give you a better understanding of how, now that it is partitioned into two parts, it's easier to develop an understanding of uh, to pave our way to how to actually implement it, how to code this stuff now. If it's still not clear to you, it will be because right after this logical design, now that we have partitioned our system and we have organized it in a particular format, it's easier to, uh, now it's better that we also devise user interfaces, the Windows forms that you call in other terms. We should develop some Windows Forms interface for all, both of these subsystems. Once we do that, we know that how the we will actually locate the parts where the face detection is going to happen. We are going to uh, locate the parts where image acquisition should happen and training signal management. What are the components that we are going to use to actually do the functioning of these components. So once you have a user interface, a Windows application designed, all the buttons and text boxes and picture boxes located on pr proper places, you know you have a better understanding, you have a better way and a simpler way understanding to implement your system. So that is exactly what's coming next up, which is the user interface design of the subsystems, thereby integrating them will have a full systems user interface designed.